Okay. Am I a co-host, Alan? Yes. Okay. And does somebody else want to also be co-host so they can post the uh, the agenda and stuff? Or I could do that, but then someone else has to watch the participants. I could do that if you wanted. I honestly okay. not sure how to use that function in Zoom, but. I can okay. do it, Henry. I know how to do sure. it. Okay, so I'll promote Sarah. Co-host, I can do that. No, I can't uh, do that. Alan, you might have to do that. Okay, what am I doing? Make Sarah also a co-host. Thank you, Alan. You're welcome. All right. So I'm going to hide the list of attendees. You're going to do that, and I will bring up the agenda. Um, yes. Before I do that, can someone, um, we need someone to take minutes now that Gordon is leaving the committee. I don't know if you all saw his email. I did see his, his email. Um, what's that? I did see his email and I'm sad to see that email um, and I am happy to uh, take notes. Okay, so you'll take notes. I will get the agenda up. Uh, oh, there it is. Uh, share screen, there we go. Can everyone see that? Yes, I yes. can see it. I'll make it larger. Okay. All right. Oh, I can't do both things at once. All right. Um, so are we ready? We can start the meeting now. Alan, is it being recorded already? Let me see. There we go. It is recording. Okay. So any announcements or public comments? I saw Meg Gage was on the list of people coming in. Is she here? Yes. Um, you should be able to speak. Hi, everybody. I don't think I should be a panelist, but I have a quick comment. Um, I've always admired the beautiful sycamore in front of the historic society on the corner of uh, North Prospect and Amity, right next to the library. <clears throat> and I'm curious what precautions are being taken to protect it uh, during the library renovations. You don't have to, I know you don't answer the questions, but I wanted to just put it out because it's, it's one of the most spectacular trees downtown, in my opinion. So that's my comment. <laughs> well, thank you, Meg. Um, we encourage everyone to be panelists so we can see their faces. And also, okay. we, we are happy to answer that question. Um, yeah, I'm happy to answer that question if you want me to. Yeah. Thanks, Alan. <clears throat> so um, we are working with the Amos History Museum 
uh, we got a grant from the Department of Conservation and Recreation called a Heritage Tree Grant to do a significant amount of work, pruning, cabling, lightning protection, and some uh, deep root uh, fertilization of the tree. Um, Great. And during that period of time, I've been talking with uh, members of the Amherst History Museum that uh, you know they need to make sure they need to be talking with Jones and making sure that the project is not going to interfere with the root zone of that tree, or if it is, that it has to be, there has to be some protection put there for the tree so that um, no damage is done to it. Great, I'm so reassured. And uh, you know, our old trees like that are part of our history. Well, we all want to protect historic buildings, but it's really important to protect a beautiful tree like that. So thank you. I'm going to exit. <laughs> Thanks you for go. all the. Oh, I'll also make one more comment. I love those signs you put all over town around trees. They're sort of educational. They're really fantastic. Oh, good. Thank good you. Job. Um, Meg, before you go, we are planning to also plant a second um, sycamore on the other side of the entrance to the stronghold. Oh, good. Because they used to be two. Yeah. Oh, great. So, yeah. So thank you for all you do. It's really important. Well, thanks it's not for a glamorous in. committee, but it's an important one. So thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye. Okay. Um, hearings we did. So approval of the May minutes. Did everyone have a chance to look at them and approve them? And are there any changes or comments on the May minutes? They look good to me. Okay. So if you support uh, approving them, raise your hand. Okay. That's approved. Um, I'll take volunteer hours as soon as I find my pen. Um, okay, Bennett. Uh, four and a half. We only do whole hours, so five. Uh, you Julian? know, um, yeah, great. Julian? Uh, five for me as well. Okay. Adrian, you're next on the list, my list. Uh, two. Okay. And uh, Sarah? Seven. Okay. Britt? Those three between the site visit and today. So. Okay. Two, two and a half. Were you at the planting? What's, uh, no. Okay. All right. Um, Ellen? Uh, five. Okay. And I've probably put in... Well, Julian said five. That includes the um, the dinner and driving to the dinner and everything. Julian, yeah. Well, not driving, but to the dinner. Right. I mean, we talk business during that, so. Sure. Okay. Call it call it seven. I guess if you want to count all that stuff. Okay. And I'm probably at twelve, so I'll put that down. All right. Um, good. Reports. The chair's report. Um, we got a check for $500 from Hampshire Village Condominiums. Oh, nice. Um, the check is made out to Amherst Public Shade Tree Committee Care of Me. So yes, yeah, I made it's it not... the gift tree fund. So <laughs> what should I do about that, Alan? Well, you can send it back to him and ask him to do what I told him to do, which was to make it out to the town of Amherst and notes put public shade tree fund. Um, I have no idea why they made it out to you, that's odd. Um, well, it says Amherst Public Shade Tree Committee care of me, so. Okay, what does the pay to say? Amherst Public Shade Tree Committee care of Henry Lappin. Yeah, so we can't cash that. There's no way to cash it. Um, I mean, I can cash so it. So it needs to be, it needs to be, <laughs> you could, yes. And then you could make a donation to the town of Amherst Public Shade Tree Fund. That's up I, to you. Um, um, no, I'd rather they do it directly, but um, yeah. do you have a phone number or something to reach them? Or What's on the check? It comes through uh, a check writing company in Nebraska through Spaith Property Management in West Springfield, Mass. Yeah, so that's, okay, I see what they're saying. So it's the property management company that cut the check that manages the property there. Um, okay. So 
you would need to reach back. You need to reach out to them. They will connect you up with the property manager of Hampshire Village, and then you could talk to them about getting it done correctly. Okay. Unless you, you know, I don't recommend it, but if you, if you, you know, cashed it and you know made the donation to the town, but I'd, I'd keep it above board and just send it back and say, yeah, I will try to get. Amber's, I'll try to get another check. Yeah. I also want to get an address to send them a thank you note. So, yeah. yeah. Henry, remind, um, for the notes purposes, tell me that it's Hampshire Village. What was the name of the group? Condominium. Um, that that's uh, we planted along, you know, Country Corners Road and uh, whatever the other road was. Rambling. Rambling Road. So, I guess it was a thank you for that from someone there. That's great. Um, other things on my thing, uh, there was a column in the Amherst Bulletin introducing the Amherst Climate, Climate Alliance, um, written by Darcy Dumont. It quotes uh, Julian from our committee, and among their requests to the town, uh, they said it fund the Shade Tree Committee's line item for trees. So I thought that was encouraging that uh, they took that up. But it also brought up the idea that we should be um, connecting and liaisoning with these different groups. So does any of us want to join the Amherst Climate Alliance or go to one of their meetings? And I've already been going to uh, their meetings. I've so far attended five. And at their last meeting, when we vote the letter for the bulletin, I suggested that they include that um, for the $40,000 line item before the budget was finally passed, not expecting it would do anything just to get a little press, but I can consider myself a formal uh, liaison instead of just a concerned citizen going to those meetings. Great, that's great. So thank, thank them for Julie. including us. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, let, let us know what else we can do to help them and vice versa. Most certainly. Great. Um, let's see what else I have. them of our when our plantings are. I don't think anyone's attended yet, but I've been letting them know. Okay. Um, there's something that I read somewhere, I forget where now, uh, called the State Green Communities Grants. And I was wondering, is Amherst a green community? Yes. So we might be eligible for grants that would go toward, it goes toward all green infrastructure, but trees might be a part of that. So. Again, it's, you know, writing a grant and it's connecting with um, uh, environmental justice areas of town and things like that. So something we should have uh, maybe on the front burner, but certainly on the back burner. Anybody have thoughts about that or? Yeah. I think I need to know more about the type of grant. Sounds great. But... Do you want to do some research into that? It was in it was in the um, uh, Citizen Forest and newsletter that just came out. So, do you have that link or? I do. I'm just okay. Thinking that, Great. So yes. Okay, that's good. Um, and in that connection, uh, Julian and I attended the uh, Western Mass version of the uh, Massachusetts Tree Wardens and Foresters Association Thursday. It was good uh, meeting. Um, there were a couple people there from Stockbridge, and I uh, thought we should really have some sort of ongoing connection with the Stockbridge School and, um, and with the UMass um, Arboriculture Program. So I don't know yeah. how to do that. Good. I think the Arbor Arboriculture Program is actually in, not in Stockbridge. I think it's in um, my department, which is Environmental Conservation, which is in okay. the School of Sciences. Um, so I could certainly think about how to how to reach out to some of those folks and get them engaged in whatever way the committee thinks is appropriate. Yeah, at times we've had uh, people from there join our meetings, um, get a little more involved to come to our planting. So if we could advertise our plantings with them, if we can find out about other educational or speakers that can come speak to us, um, I think that'd be a great resource for us. Like, um... The college also does a great lecture series, you know, in the fall and spring, I think, 
Um, and uh, you can hear, you know, the most recent research that's going on regarding, you know, a lot of issues that the committee is involved with and concerned about. So they have, um, it'd be nice to hook up with their calendar, sort of, if they've got a billboard they post stuff on. Yeah, I can, I can try to be a source of cross fertilization um, between, you know, between what's going on at UMass in, in eco and um, with the tree programs and with the committee. So thank you. That's great. Thanks. And Bennett, you could, uh, if there's like stuff that they have going on, you could publicize that in the newsletter. Yeah. Sure. Good. All right. Um, Brett, are you on our newsletter list before we go any further? I think so. Our... Okay, good. Yeah, Britt's on our list, yeah. yeah. Great. And Britt has uh, applied to be on the committee. So, and we have an opening right now. I did not talk to Paul. I will do that, though. Thank you. Yeah. Paul Bachman, the town manager. Um. I think that's about all that um, that I have. Um, anyone have something to add that? I do. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, I got a call from Jeff Hayes in Paley Village Place, who was uh, looking to have a tree planted. Um, I guess he moved here. Um, right right before the pandemic, um, but he applied to have a tree um, planted at his house. Um, I told him that the committee is no longer doing that, um, that request a tree program, um, but uh, Paley Village Place might be a, a location that we could look into for doing a, a Saturday planting. Um, and it's just a note that if we don't do the website updates, maybe just to make sure that there's no mention of the um, requested tree program so that we don't keep getting people who are confused about whether or not that's still available. Um, so Paley Village Place as a location to look into for tree plantings um, requested by Jeff Hayes. Is those public um, streets there, you know? I don't know, that's a great question. Helen, I'm looking it up. Okay. It's not a public street. It's a private road, I believe. I just went on Google Maps. Um, one other thing is when we update the town website, we can also update masks that request that everyone still wear a mask outdoors. We can update that to that it's folks' personal choice, which I believe is in accordance with the town at this point. Doesn't mention masks on our side of things. Does it? Oh. It does not. So we can't update the rest of the town website, only the Public Shade Tree Committee page. No, it's on the Public Shade Tree Committee page. Serious? Yeah. OK. Uh, huh. Bennett, you want to take care of that, or should I? <laughs> uh, I can take that considering how difficult it's been to get me to make any updates to the website. Uh, I'm amazed that anything happened to it at all. all right. So I'll, I'll take care of that. Okay. Yeah. It says second Saturday, 2022, bring your friends a shovel. If you have one, please wear a mask. Look for the yellow truck. Okay. Thank you. Good. Yep, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of things slip by when you look at them. You know. <laughs> yeah, no, no worries. I have been awfully busy with finals and then am, and am in the same boat, so. <laughs> okay. Uh, next is the, is that all you have, Sarah? Uh, yes, that's it. Okay. So, Alan, Tree Warden's report. Um, I'm going to be sharing with the committee, um, Amherst had a, solar assessment done of the various properties around town. Um, and they list a number of properties, parking lots for parking canopies and buildings for 
for uh, solar to go on. Um, and they also have a kind of, you know, uh, viability based on no tree removal and, and then viability of the project based on tree removal. And they identify trees that would need to be removed around these properties. Um, so I, I thought it'd be good to share with the committee. So I'll be sending that out um, for you to review. Um, again, this is just, um, it's just the beginning to say, look, this is, you know, we have got all these town properties, where can we put solar? And what do we need to do to get the solar there? And it doesn't mean they're gonna do all of them or any of them. It just means that this was an assessment and this is where they have opportunities to put solar. So, um, the um, Sustainability Festival has been reactivated for 2023. So the committee might want to think about um, wanting to have a booth there or not having a booth there. Um, I don't have any other details other than you know, they're going to begin planning for 2023 spring to have a sustainability festival again. Um, I think that's it. We don't have a lot. Um, we've been very busy with cemeteries and other events, hanging banners, uh, moving planters for the bid downtown. Town got a park grant, or not a park grant, but a grant to put in um, outdoor dining areas and we participate in providing logistics for that and moving planters. And so we've been tied up with that. We'll be finishing that up this next week, hopefully. <clears throat> um, so I think that's about it. Oh, I did go to the Tree City USA award ceremony. So I have a lovely picture of me holding the Tree City USA flag. <clears throat> um, and uh, we should put together a press release for that, um, which I can send to Henry so you can put it on the um, community webpage. Because you're a big part of that, making that happen. So, 35 years. That's it. Okay. Uh, nobody from the committee went with you to that? No. Okay. All right. Uh, Treasurer's report, Julian. Yeah. So I don't believe the balance has changed. We have $23,475.25. Okay. Um, so yeah, that is as of what the town clerk told me yesterday. Okay, so next item is a uh, new chair of the committee. Um, and as a side to that, I've been really wanting us to have a committee secretary. Not only takes the minutes, but posts the minutes and does a bunch of other tasks that I've come up with a list for a while ago. So um, let's start with talking about a new chair for the committee. Julian said he was interested. I'm willing to do it. Happy to do it, but. Uh, do we have any other nominations? Yes, correct. Anyone else want to nominate themselves or someone else? No? Can't hear you, Ben. Sorry, I have a team, an ultimate, a middle school ultimate team out my window that you don't want to hear. But I said that's a good candidate pool. <laughs> so, someone want to speak to this? And uh... I'll speak. Um, I, I knew, I, although I missed the last meeting, I, I had understood that that was the. Uh, those were both possibilities. Um, uh, I'm, I'm only conflicted uh, because Henry, you've done this for so long, and of course you're not now the current chair, but you, uh, prior to Sarah, you were uh, a, a chair for a long time, and 
you know, I think there's a lot of value that you bring to this um, endeavor and a lot of um, uh, kind of uh, institutional knowledge and kind of an understanding of all the people and, uh, you know, um, all the kind of different stakeholders in town. And I think that's incredibly valuable. Um, so, um, which isn't to say that, you know, and uh, Julian has been a stalwart member of this committee for several years now, kind of in tandem with me and uh, is, I think also quite impressive. Um, so um, I, in this case, I tend to kind of side with um, experience. Um, and I, I think that's um, a great asset, but I also understand that part of part of the reason that we have, um, you know, I know that, that uh, the town manager is interested in kind of uh, term limits and things like that and keeping committees fresh. And so in that spirit, you know, uh, Julian is, um, is, is certainly fits the bill for that. Um, so uh, those are my kind of uh, uh, considerations coming into this vote. And um, uh, again, I apologize that I wasn't around for the last meeting, but um, I've thought about this quite a bit. So thank you. Anyone else? No, thank you. I completely agree with what Bennett was saying. And I think that the knowledge Henry has passed on to me over the years and the information he has about both trees and town government and the passion that he brings to the table on these type of issues, I've found very impressive. Thank you. So I don't know, what do we do? We vote at this point? Well, Henry, can I make a comment? Or Yes. I wonder, um, instead of going for a secretary, if you just had a vice president um, that would take on those duties and be trained. So you, the committee would then develop a process for moving people from being just a standing committee member to being a vice president to being, or sorry, vice, vice chair, not president. Um, and, uh, you know, there's kind of be a training period there. Um, where you intentionally train the next person. And so it's um, not something that just kind of sneaks up on you and then suddenly you need to have a new, a new chair. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I know some organizations use a co-chair model. I'm not sure how that's seen in town and town committees. I saw it done with one town committee before. I'm not sure if it's an idea worth exploring or not. Well, since um, part of this is discussing me, I'd like someone else actually to make a motion. Um, yeah, same here. I don't want to make the motion. I'll make a motion. I nominate um, Henry as our new chair and Julian as our vice chair. Second. Okay, all in favor? We only have two people voting that I see. I think yeah. Ellen got frozen. Yeah, Ellen's there. Okay, three. Um, so I guess three to nothing, and two abstentions work. So we can both, you and I can both, um, Julian, both vote yes also. Yeah. Yep. I okay. vote yes to that. All right. So I will be the chair again. And uh, I've already started training Julian, but um, <clears throat> why don't you consider yourself the vice chair and uh, we'll work together on this. Wonderful. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Thank you, both of you, for uh, taking on those roles. Yeah, absolutely. I'm giving you a clap. That's great. I'm very happy with that. Thank you. Good, good, good suggestion, Alan. Um, so then who's going to do all these secretarial jobs? <laughs> Julian. <laughs> or Bennett can take on more, but he seems to be swamped, so I don't want to do that. Yeah, I can. But once my finals are up, I can start working to do a little bit more of the secretary type stuff. Um, I also want to discuss how, who is going to fill the treasurer position now. Right. Good point. I forgot about that. <laughs>
So we need a new treasurer. It's a fairly minor job. Um, Britt, I think you have to be a committee member too. Yeah, yeah I was I can... get me on the committee and I'll volunteer myself all day long. But... Yeah, I can explain what it is. It's basically just checking with the town yeah. offices and then signing off on the spending forms. Sure. Ellen O'Sara or Bennett? I can, can do it. Sarah, okay. I'm an art person with numbers. Right. All right, so Sarah is the treasurer, is that what I heard? Yeah, yeah, until Britt is a member and then I'll pass it to her. Um, so, so yeah, I will I can do that for the next um, meeting. <laughs> Or Adrian, sorry, you could also possibly be a committee member. I don't know if you've applied formally or not. You did not. Okay. Are you happy being an associate member and not official member? Actually, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I love this committee, and you're a great bunch of people, and I'm crazy about the trees, but I don't want to take on a formal commitment. Okay. Well, good. We, we like having you here at the meetings, and participating in our stuff, so that's good. All right, um, next is social media update. Shoshana's not here. Um, Julian, do you have anything? Is Julian still here? Nope, sorry, I was just grabbing my cat. Okay. Do you have anything to add about social media? Mr. Uh, Vice Chair. Just that uh, we have had the, what we have done with the social media is to advertise our plantings and I've started also advertising our hearings, which is a change we made recently. And I posted a photo of the Girl Scout troop um, at our planting at Roth Park, which was exciting. I would just mention, yeah, when I went, so I went to look for, after the meeting last month, when you mentioned there was an Instagram account, I went to look for it and there were actually two different accounts that showed up for the Amherst Public Shade Tree Committee. And it was a little bit tricky to figure out which was the active account and which one was not. And so if there's a way to, I don't know who has ownership over whatever account was used in the past, but to delete that. Yes. Yeah, so. I have ownership over the current account and Shoshona has ownership over the previous account, but I, before making a new account, tried to log into the previous account with Shoshona and Shoshona does not know the password or username for that account. So we have been unable to delete it unless me or her is able to figure that out. But okay. yeah, I acknowledge that it certainly is confusing, especially with folks often following both pages at once. Just wanted to mention that. Thanks. Now, that'd be good if uh, Shoshana can figure that out and you can get that done. Yeah. Okay. Um, town tree to our next step. Um, I've done nothing since the we did the actual tour. Ellen, have you? No? All right. Probably I'm not going to get to anything till August or September. So the next step is to come up with the brochure and then add on the extensions and things like that. And then we can maybe pick a date and do a, maybe we'll do a fall tour again, a fall live tour. Other ideas about it? Oh, um, uh, sorry, when it's Brit, you Henry, gonna... do you think we would do the same, the same tour or one? Sorry, you didn't come in clear. Ellen? Sorry, my Wi-Fi is really weird. Um, I was just asking, would we repeat the same tour or plan a new one? No, I think repeat the same tour, but showing the fall um, things about these trees. I don't think I want to start a okay. whole new tour. Yeah. 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 Okay, good. 
Yeah. Um, Britt, you were going to look up signage at Amherst College? Yes, actually, I took some pictures and I guess I've forgotten to send them, but actually, um, so I was looking up the signage that has been used for the historic homes in the area because we had talked about how many of the historic trees are in Amherst College property and they might not be open to particular kinds of signage on their trees. And so I had suggested kind of reproducing what they've used for these historic homes for these heritage trees. Um, so I do have some pictures that I can email um, to the committee, but I think they were actually produced by the town, um, which is a good thing. So there's, there's, you know, a format that's been used and there are these metal mounted placards outside of homes that are probably probably 10 inches by six inches or so. Um, they're very nice. <laughs> I don't know how expensive they are. Um, and we probably wouldn't need to include quite as much information as is on these um, placards for homes, but I can um, send an email with a, an example of one that I took a picture of um, nearby. Great. Yeah. All right. So why don't you send that out? Um, Ellen, um, I guess the next step really is designing how we're going to put this into a brochure. Um, do you have time to work on that or get started on that? Ellen? Sorry, my Wi-Fi went out. Yeah. I'll see if I can get on my phone. I, it just, I'm running out of battery. Okay. All right, well, let's uh, move on then. Anyways, um, if she comes back, we'll do that. Second Saturday tree plantings. Um, probably won't plant in July, but do we have a place we could do a work day? Yeah. Um, and we're I have to look that up okay. and get back to you. Um, I had an idea for that. And I forgot where it was. Last month, uh, the Woodside Orchard area was discussed, but obviously I am biased on that one. So. <laughs> We've got a lot of stump grinding to do on Woodside. <laughs> um, I was trying to think of one of the areas that we planted last year that needed it. Um, and I'm just drawing a blank at the moment for like mulching and stuff. Did we discuss last year Fisher or Pine Street? Not that I know of. Okay. Um, what about over the trees in front of Rolling Green? Are those Rolling Green's trees or are those? Yeah. Okay. So uh -huh. they're on their property. They're maintaining them now. They're doing a pretty good job. Um, good. Good. Uh, so there, are, there are other trees along North Pleasant Street, though, that uh, including by the yeah. um, the Habitat Homes and all the way up into North Amherst Village. Oh, that's what. Thank you. Good. It's, Great. Um, the the North. Pleasant, East Pleasant Street trees um, by the water towers. Oh, East, yeah. Yeah, they could be grass weeded out and mulched. Um, so the landscape, the ground screw doesn't kill them with lawnmowers and string trimmers. Um, yeah, why don't we do those trees? Yeah. That's like 20 trees. Okay. Okay, so, so we'll do that for January? July, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> January will uh, will help you with snow removal. Thanks. Okay. Um, we probably won't do an August one. Um, September. We we had some planting uh, place in mind for September. I forget where that was. Anybody remember? I think it was. We were talking about trying to do um, Woodside Ave in the fall. I think. For planting. Yeah. Point. Okay. Yeah, I have a friend who lives over there. He said a lot of the trees in that area have had to come down recently so that planting would be beneficial. Yeah. All right. So July. I look, forward uh, to, I look forward to a work day after our recent planting experience. I don't want to plant a tree ever again. I don't think it's very difficult. We'll find the most, the 
most gravel we can somewhere. <laughs> That's impressive. Rock, I, I still don't know why the, that gravel was there. That's weird. Well, I wasn't there, but uh, the picture was fantastic. And uh, I got a nice note from the woman who organized the Girl Scout thing and uh, really appreciated us. And uh, I think it was great for them, great for us. And, uh, you know. The kids really enjoyed it, which was great to see. Yeah. So the, that'll be the uh, replacement for Julian on the tree committee, one of those Girl Scouts. All right, um, that's a good start on that. Um, town tree inventory in the grant. We had talked about a possible uh, volunteer tree tour, um, tree inventory um, training. Mm -hmm. We'd even picked a tentative date in June. I don't know whatever happened with that though. Yeah, we, I just got swamped, I got buried. Um, I have not been able to put any time into the tree inventory or the Heritage Tree Grant. Um, after this week, after Juneteenth is over, um, I have, uh, I'm going to force myself to kick into the inventory drive and uh, start doing that. So I have to arrange for the person who's going to do the training to come and um, get at least our staff out there starting the inventory and then arrange for the, the training session um, for the volunteers. Okay. We'll keep us posted on that and uh, yeah, if we have some choices, we can put it out to the committee and see how many people can make any particular date. So, yeah. All right. Anything else on tree, town tree inventory? Um, I'll just say, Alan, if you need help with that, um, I know Gordon and I helped write the grant and I'm interested in getting the, the town tree inventory together. Um, now that I'm not the chair, um, I'm going to I'm going to need to reacclimate to going back to work, um, but I'm hoping that I can pick up the significant tree ordinance again. And I think having the town tree inventory updated will be kind of an important part of that. Um, so if you need help with with any of the tree inventory stuff, um, just let me know. I'm happy to to, okay. to jump in a little. Great. Thank you. And I, what I can do is I can CC you in my email communication with um, the trainer. So um you can you know participate in the planning stage and information gathering and stuff like that sure and i yeah great and then i can disseminate to committee members and, and stuff as well so it's a little less uh organization burden on your part um that that'd be great thank you okay perfect thank you yeah. all right the history museum the grant and fundraising uh, just beginning to start some conversation there, um, and I'll have to report back to you, hopefully, with a lot more information um, in July. Okay. And Sarah, um, you were going to um, reach out to someone or somebody, I forget who, let me see. I know Shoshona already has a connection with someone at the History Museum. I don't know if anyone else does also. Um, no. I'm it's the historical society and, and their museum. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm hesitant about taking on too much. Um, and uh, I think it'd be good to use whatever existing contact we have. I know we've already been in touch with at least somebody from the historical commission. So um, I think that would probably be the best way to, to start this okay. collaboration. Can you check in with Shoshana about that? And um, Yeah, yeah, I can. And also she was going to um, do more photography of Northampton Road and I don't know what's happened with that. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll get in touch with her. Okay. Because she's been missing a bunch of meetings and things, so I don't want to, I don't want to lose her in the committee, but I don't want to push her if she's too busy. So, we um, the conversations I just started having with the Amherst History Museum is that they do a history bites uh, program, and um, 
we're going to try to coordinate uh, having the, the guest lecturer come and do the history bites um, on trees, uh, significant trees. So. All right, connections with Stockbridge School we talked about already. Britt's going to be the liaison there. Uh, so we'll go to number seven, old and ongoing items. Anything new on Kendrick Park and North, North Pleasant Street? Nothing new. Okay. How about on the North Common and Mary Maple? Nothing new there either. Oh, uh, what what is the status of that, Alan? Do you know? Status is it keeps getting pushed back. Any kind of decision being made. Uh, it sounds like now the project may not start. Don't quote me on this, but what I'm hearing is that it may not start till next spring. So. Can I ask just since I, I wasn't around for this part of the meeting last month and I am newer to Amherst, um, what, what has the committee's position been on this proposal to remove the Mary Maple? We haven't taken a position, I think, in general. Um, I mean, Alan has talked about that the tree is unhealthy. It's lost its central leader and uh, would probably die during construction. So I think we've been going along with that. Um, looking at it, walking through the common the other day, it has a very full canopy, even though it has some missing gaps in the back there. But uh, so. Yeah, and so the project is a parking lot expansion, is that correct? No, it's actually removing the parking lot at the top of the common near the um, on Main Street okay. and expanding it, but just improving the grade and rebuilding a lot of uh, stuff. So that was going to change mostly the change in grade and things like that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, my assessment is that you know if we want to preserve large trees that are going to live that have good long life ahead of them. Um, the tree to lose there is the Mary Maple because it does not have a long life ahead of it. It's so got a very short life expectancy. Um, and by removing that tree, we spare essentially all the other trees uh, from being removed so, or having damage to them. So the proposal would not remove all of any of the other significant trees in on that quadrant there. Correct. There's um two other nori maples that are small and not doing well that would be removed as well um, but all the big linden trees the big beech trees um, those would all stay um, we'd still maintain a nice tree canopy around them so. um, yeah I, I have more questions but i don't want to take over the whole the whole meeting so okay no, no go ahead i was just going to ask what i mean what is the what do you see as the remaining life expectancy of of that tree that is a great question. So, I mean, it's it's beginning to become unstable. So the central leader to the tree, um, if you go over there and look and stand in the parking lot, that's going to be removed and look back at the Mary Maple. Um, you'll see the crown is, um, the central leader has lost probably 50% of its live crown. So that main trunk portion that is cabled to two other big leaders on the tree, um, is dying. Um, the rest of the tree actually is relatively healthy still, but the main leader is is, is not, and it's got um, the beginning of some pretty significant decay in the main stem of that leader. Um, so there's mushrooms growing on it. Um, uh, so once that main leader is gone, it would take a pretty radical pruning to make the other which branches, which are the other big large leaders of the tree um, stable, you would have to reduce their size significantly so they wouldn't fail. Um, and there's no will to do that or no budget to do that or? It, it signals the rapid demise of the tree. Uh, once the main leader goes and once you have to remove so much healthy leaf surface because the trees can't sustain itself, they're too heavy, too tip heavy. Um, you're cutting out a large portion of the 
photosynthesizing material that provides you know all the the energy for the tree to survive so um, that begins a decline spiral of not enough leaf surface to sustain the mass so you have root dieback and you have more branch dieback and, um, so. okay all right um northampton road anything new on that Nothing new. Okay. The library trees, I, it's just something I am not getting to. So if somebody else wants to take that on, contacting the library, going to some of the meetings of the construction of the library and seeing about what trees are going to be affected. And um, I just am not getting to it. Oh. Doesn't Anybody seem to be a lot of movement on that construction project, so I don't know when that's going to start. I've not heard anything about start dates. So. No, but we should, I think we should be finding out what the proposals are and uh, if there's any way we can save any of the trees back there. And there's, I'm hearing, go ahead. there's a design committee meeting this Thursday at 10 on Zoom, and I'm going to try to go um, so I can represent the tree committee and bring up trees and see if they can point me in the right direction if there's someone else to be talking to. Um, so I'll make an attempt, but it's sometimes tricky for me to be on Zoom meetings in the during the day. So, but, yeah. but I will try. Okay. And um, yeah, let it be known that we've heard from people who are concerned about losing those trees. So I will. Good. Thank you. No All right, uh, new members. Uh, there's nobody else in the pipeline besides Britt at this moment. And I will contact Paul, um, definitely do that this week. Thanks. Okay. Complete as, streets, oh good. Julie? As to that, um, has the Shade Tree Committee, has the, excuse me, Town Council confirmed the reappointment of uh, myself and Bennett or not? I haven't heard anything about that, Alan. I know they had a meeting I, last night. That's why I asked. I've not heard anything. Okay. Thank you. I'll, I'll check with Paul at the same time. Okay. Um, where are we? A complete street statewide, state level initiatives. Um, there's nothing really happening. Um, I'm hoping that in September I can speak at the uh, Mass Tree Wardens dinner and uh, try to get other town uh, tree wardens and tree committees to uh, support doing some statewide efforts. Oh. All right, significant tree ordinance. Uh, you mentioned it earlier, Sarah, anything new or anything more to say? Nothing new. Um, I'm not gonna make any uh, promises for July because I'm gonna need a period to transition back to the workplace, um, but I'm hoping to revive that as my personal project and move that forward. Okay. And town budget line item. Uh, there's no movement, I don't think, from the town council, but I think um, we do some more writing and more, you know, op-ed letters or just letters to the editor, I think, are really useful to try to get that moving. So. I encourage you all to write to the letters to the editor of the Gazette and the bulletin. So I have one in the bag that you've seen, um, and I, I don't know if it, I don't know if it should come from one of us from the entire committee. Um, I don't know that it really matters, honestly. Um, do you want me just to send it in? I'll just send it in. Like I just answered my own question. I'll just send it in. Yeah, and I think you can. Um send it in for the committee we've approved it right or we we've seen it uh, it's yeah it seemed it, I, I would say it's not formal approval but it's been circulated and everybody said great job so yeah. i'll i'll take another look at it if there's anything that jumps out as being possibly um contentious i'll flag it but otherwise i'll just send it in then it hates up on behalf of the amherst public shade tree committee sure. okay that sound good, everyone? Yeah. yeah, I 
I would move to formally approve Bennett's letter. It looks great to me. Okay. I vote for that. Yeah. Right. Julian? Yeah, I can do that. Yep. Okay. Well, um, you'll find, just as an aside, I do a lot, I write professionally and I write this stuff and generally somebody else takes it and does something with it. So I'm not, I, I always reach the moment where we're just, somebody should do something with it. And I just expect somebody else to do it. So I'll do it. It's great. It's a good feeling. And I encourage you write more and either for yourself or for the committee. Um, I used to write a bunch. I'm not doing that lately. So here. Yeah. Well, I was ready to write a letter about the Mary Maple and I had been to the library to research it because my kids were crying when they found out it was going to be taken down. But obviously, more inf I said, I got to get, I need to get more information on this first. So, yeah. but, but yes, this is a good idea just generally to advocate for, for the, for trees. So, but writing a letter as to, um, what's happening with it and why it might have to come down would be a useful thing to do. I think the more times we get in the newspaper and on, you know, and uh, through other media is really important. Yeah. Any press I've also written press, that. Right? I've written that too, Brett. I'll share it with you. I have. Like we it's another yeah, one. I have a draft. So yeah. yeah. Great. Okay. Good. All right. Um website update. There's nothing new on that, I assume. Bennett? Yes, that's exactly right. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. And I will adjust the thing about masks and uh, look at the request a tree thing. All right. Uh, any other committee comments? It's a shorter meeting tonight, but um, we also had the hour of the tree hearing, so it's a long meeting. Any other comments? No other topics reasonably anticipated by the chair or the vice chair. Do you have any topics not anticipated? <laughs> no? All right, so I think we adjourn. Bennett, if you can get uh, the minutes uh, to me and Julian as soon as possible, that'd be great. Sure. All right, thanks everyone. Uh, right. Good meeting and the hearings went well and uh, I will see you anon. Thanks everybody. Thank you. Great. Thanks. Have a great night. Yeah. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.